to a hip-hop homecoming in Queens. Legendary performers took the stage for the Rock the Bells Festival, and CBS 2's Jennifer Bisram lucked out with the assignment and reports from Forest Hills. Queens went old school Saturday. Thousands packed Forest Hill Stadium for LL Cool J's Rock the Bells Festival to see hip hop royalties like Rakim, Jungle Brothers, Queen Latifah, Salt and Pepper, and Big Daddy Kane take the stage and take them back to the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. We're going to 1972 when it started. It's everything is all of me, especially from Queens. Hip hop legend Kid Capri on what hip hop means to him 50 years later. There were, were a time there was no money involved. It was just something that was a hobby. It was something that people liked. And, you know, um, at the end of the day, people told us that it wasn't going to be around. It was just going to be noise. It was just going to be a, a fad. And then 50 years later, to be able to uh, have this milestone going on, you know, it's amazing. 20 voices of hip hop took to the stage at the historic event honoring hip hop's 50th anniversary. Hip hop is, it, to me, is life. It's been a part of my life, most of my life, and um, I'm just honored. I'm also a part of what LL's building with Rock the Bells. I have equity in this incredible venture, recognizing the classics and the foundation of this culture. Many who attended say recognizing, celebrating, and preserving hip-hop, its roots, influence, and impact are critical to understanding the history of New York City, the birth of hip-hop. In Forest Hills, Jennifer Bisram, CBS 2 News. And there's so many events happening around our area celebrating 50 years of hip hop. So lots to look forward to and take in.